Hey, I'm Randy, and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we talk about high-value, hi-fi, home theater, and headphone equipment. And we've talked about building whole systems for less than a certain amount of money. 150 350 500 1000 Today, we're stepping it up. $2,000. We're going to build an entire system for under two grand, sometimes with up to two sources. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about building a system for less than two grand. Today's sponsor, the real sponsor, is a real sponsor, is the Weem Mini Streamer. You can build a distributed whole home audio system or just get into streaming because it plays gaplessly. Amazon Music, gaplessly, it's $90. Tidal Connect, Spotify Connect, your networked music, all for less than hundred bucks. And the app's good, it takes about five minutes to get this thing going. One of the best streaming softwares out there, and it's a hundred dollars. I've been through a lot of streamers, and even if they wouldn't be sponsoring me, I would still be recommending this all day long. Weem Mini Streamer, 90 bucks. Run out and get it. All right, whole system, less than two grand. At this point, we have a lot of money to work with. Some people would say, No, you don't. You should be spending more than that on a DAC or an amplifier or a speaker. I say to that, baloney. We don't need to spend that much money. We can build an awesome system. Now with each of these systems, there will be a bit of an upgrade path, but some are pretty darn good just as they are. I kind of call this one speaker focused. While all the speakers that I'm gonna talk about today are awesome, the Polk R200 for me, it represents the biggest bang for your buck speaker out there. It does not lean overall crazy in any direction. I think this speaker is going to appeal to a huge audience. Got a little bit of oomph on the bottom, also has sparkle on the top and beautiful mid-range. So this speaker and most of the speakers I talk about don't really need a subwoofer. They're all six and a half inch bookshelf speakers with the exception of the Wharfdale Evo 4.1. But even that speaker, I think, can get away with not having a subwoofer. So the first system is the speaker focus system and that comes well with the Polk R200. For an integrated amplifier, I've gone with the Emotiva TA1. It's an integrated amplifier with a DAC, a phono stage. Really, it's a receiver because it also has a tuner. It has RCA outputs and RCA outputs with a high pass filter. There's a lot of way to improve upon this system by adding a dedicated amplifier later down the line. But even with the TA1, even though it comes with a phono stage, even though it comes with a DAC, I am also recommending getting the Gashelli Labs J2. It's a wonderful DAC. If you don't need USB, it comes in at $250. If you need a USB connection, it comes in $300. And then I would also pick up the Fluence RT82 at another $300. With the Polk R200, the Emotiva TA1, the Gashelli Labs J2, and the Fluence RT82, you're coming in right at $1,900. You're gonna to have to pay taxes, you're gonna to have to buy some cables. But if you wanna save some money, leave off the deck, leave off the turntable. But for $1,900 to get this much music delivery service happiness into your brain, pretty amazing. And I think most people would be completely happy with that system for, well, the rest of their lives. Hopefully you live a long life. Okay, second system, we're gonna call this the amplifier focused system. Now the speakers you can choose from really are, again, the Polk R200s or the Polk R100s because now we're getting a little bit lower down in the price range. The 200s are 750, but they regularly go on sale. So the speakers I'm recommending in this category would be the ELAC debut reference. They come in at $700. Sometimes they go on sale. The ELAC Unify 2.0s, they come in at $700, but often go all the way on sale down to 500. Okay, we're not really talking about speakers this time though, we're talking about the amplifiers. The amplifier that I recommend, and now we're gonna go separates. The Schitt Vidar paired up with the Schitt Saga. That combination comes in at $1,000. It is going to be a very clean combination, very resolving, very revealing, depending upon your source and well, your speakers. Add to that the Gashelli Labs J2 and that whole system comes in at 
$2,000. Now this system, even though it has a DAC, it does not have any tone controls. If you think you want some tone controls, if you've already got a speaker that you love and you're thinking about adding these electronics to it, you are going to need to get, well, probably the Schitt Loki. It's a five band equalizer. You can also look at the Balari EQ. It's another five band equalizer. And I think that comes in around $120. But unless you want exactly what they're serving up as far as a sonic performance, you're going to want to get some tone controls. This next system is what I would call DAC focused. If you consume most of your music through the digital domain, then it makes sense to invest some money into your DAC. The DAC that I keep coming back to is the Denifreps Ares 2. It is an R2R DAC. It does not play masters. It does not have a whole bunch of different roll-offs. It is simply a marvelous, you look marvelous, man. marvelous DAC. I think it comes in around $850, depending upon the exchange rate. It's from Vinshine Vinshin Audio. If you go to their website, okay, People are going to do this. They're going to go, no, it's not, it's not $850. It's $1,100. It's not. At the top, there is a currency box. Change that from Singapore dollars to US dollars, and you'll see what the price is. That DAC still comes in at under $1,000. Even if it came in at $1,100, I would still be recommending it. It sounds fantastic. Most of that difference in sound you're going to hear through speakers sense of air, space, imaging, placement of people, and instruments in space. It is fantastic. I would get the Denifreps Ares 2. I would mate that up with the Emotiva TA1, and then I would get one of the Elax or one of the Polks. And that system would come in right around $2,150, depending upon whether or not the speakers are on sale. All of these prices are retail prices. In a lot of instances, you may be able to get a better deal. Now I'm gonna talk about different components that can be kind of mixed and match. This is a la carte, if you will. For the speakers, we've already talked about them. Polk R100 or R200. Both of those are neutral enough, but exciting enough and have enough bass that they are going to check the box for most people. And the R200 was my speaker of the year. Whether or not that means anything, it really doesn't. I just like that speaker. It's an outstanding value and it is a mature, refined but yet fun speaker right around the 650 dollars but again they go on sale r100 r200 the next speaker that i like are the elax debut reference 700 they used to be 600 dollars. they go on sale sometimes a lot of open box stuff though amazon go into the warehouse deals and then on crutchfield check out the open box or scratch and dent then the elac unify 2.0 ELAC Unify 2.0 is going to be new, more neutral than the Debye Reference. Debye Reference is going to be a little bit smoother, a little bit warmer, has some butter in there. The next speaker I'd recommend is the Wharfdale Evo 4.1. It comes in at $800. I know that's pushing it. It's very smooth. The construction is great. It is a bottom port, so placement isn't as much of an issue. This is the only speaker that may need a subwoofer. But if you're not a giant bass head and you can get the placement next to the wall just right, the Evo 4.1 is an excellent speaker at $800. For electronics, as far as amplification, I have the PT1 from Emotiva. That's just a preamp. The TA1 from Emotiva. That's an integrated amplifier or a receiver. And the A2 from Emotiva, which is a power amplifier, has Plenty of power comes in right around $500. Then I have the Schitt Vidar and Saga. The Saga is a preamp at $300. The Vidar is a power amp at $700. That combination comes in at $1,000. But remember, no tone controls. If you want to tweak the bass, tweak the treble, tweak the mid range, you're going to need to get an EQ like the Loki or the Bellari. Then we have the Akitika GT102 and PT102. That is a preamp and a power amp. Problem is, those are kits. So if you're not inclined to build an amplifier, this may not be the right choice for you. However, they will put them together. They have a bit of a lead time at this point. I think they're two, three months out, backlogged on components and getting those components back together. But if you can wait, this is one of the, it's a tube-like experience with solid state power. There's a four ohm version and an eight ohm version. I'll say that. 
it's my reference system right now it's an excellent system those two coming in together if you get them assembled come in right around 1100 for the pair sources the denif reps aries 2 of course that's 850 dollars if you want the best value turntable i think that is the fluence rt85 or the rt85n and it's for nagaoka mp110 if you're looking to save some money on a turntable start the fluence rt82 fundamentally it's the same table as the 85 you can upgrade the platter you can upgrade the cartridge as you see fit the next what i would call my budget dac it's and it's dacicious is the gashelli labs j2 mm, it's so good has a big sound stage gashelli j2 is 250 dollars without a usb connection 300 dollars with a usb connection you can add a wooden case to make it look real real pretty and that's a little bit extra. All these electronics are neutral enough that they're gonna play well with any of the speakers I talked about. This is a point where I think you're really getting into what I would consider to be, I'm happy with this system, I don't feel the need to upgrade anymore. But if you want to, there are ways to do that, bringing in another Vidar, bringing in another Akitika, buying a better power amp. There's a lot of ways you can upgrade any of these systems and they are good. So for under $2,000, you can have a couple of sources. You can have a system that I think anybody would be impressed with. You don't need to spend a crazy amount of money. Two grand, that's a lot. That was more than my first car. That's fine, doesn't matter. I enjoy it, I listen to a lot of music. So I think $2,000 spent wisely is a great investment for you. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. Every Sunday night, we have Patreon only Zooms. We also have a Patreon only Facebook group. You can also use most of the links in the description. Those are affiliate links, which means if you click and you buy something through those links, I will get a commission, but it doesn't cost you any more. So it's a great way to support the channel. You can also sign up for Amazon Music or Tidal. Links in the description, click on it, sign up. I do get a commission. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge, listen with your new awesome stereo system for less than two grand and fill your soul with happiness. Maybe buy a rock to piss mug. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man. <laughs>